Welcome to the Nanakook Lenni Lenape Tribal Nations Native Power Hour, a public humanities broadcast. I'm Linda Little Bright Star Jackson, your host, and this is the native voice of Lenape Hokan and the Nanakook Lenni Lenape Tribal Nation. I hope that you enjoy this episode. The Nanako Glenny Lenape Tribal Nation and the Native Power Hour would like to introduce Dawn Many Feathers, and she is going to do a presentation for us today on how to make Lenape pumpkin candy. Welcome, Dawn. Well, thank you for having me. And I hope this is something that you will make and enjoy for a very long time. This is pumpkin candy. Well, candy for the lack of a better word. It's, an, it's made from indigenous um, ingredients. Only three of them. Fresh pumpkin is what I'm using today. Water and I bought maple syrup. But traditionally, it would be maple sugar because the maple syrup wouldn't last from the spring to the fall. That's why they cooked it down to make maple sugar. So the sugar would be added to the pumpkin to, to be the sweetener. This is a pumpkin. You don't want to use those orange uh, Halloween pumpkins because they do not have enough meat inside and that's what you really want. So I'm going to cut this guy in half, I think. This one's pretty easy to cut. And on the inside, I'm going to find some membrane and some seeds, as you can probably see here. Now I have found the easiest way to get the seeds out of a squash or a pumpkin, which is a squash, is an old ice cream scoop, one of those cheapy ones you find in the grocery stores or dollar store or whatever. You scrape the inside with this, but don't scrape down too far because a pumpkin is nothing but fiber. And that's why pumpkin is really good for you, your family, your dogs, or whatever, because it does provide a lot of fiber. So what I'm going to do is take the seeds out. Let's put them in here for now. Go in there. We'll do you later. The seeds are large. You can eat them as is or roast them. So we're going to get some more of these seeds and fiber out of the pumpkin. And we'll do our next step. Come here guys. You can grab it but sometimes it's a little bit slippery and it takes longer. But as you can see it only took a few seconds or so to rid this pumpkin of the seeds get over there okay so this is what we have now so the next step would be to cut this in smaller pieces in case you're wondering what kind of knife i'm using it's called a serbian cleaver they are excellent for cutting up things that are hard to cut up. I use this one every day in my kitchen because it, as you can see, it goes through them very good. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to peel it. Since this pumpkin is one of the pumpkins that is really easy to cut up, it's pretty easy to peel. You don't want to take too much because your candy is this. So here we go. We're going to take this, cut it up. And, like I said, this is pretty easy to, to peel. If it's hard to peel, which I have some pieces there that I've already cooked, and that pumpkin was a challenge, a real challenge. I had to get my son to my house to even cut it up. That's how hard the shell was. Do not use the white pumpkins called boo pumpkins do not use those orange all orange pumpkins at all those aren't going to work for you the orange pumpkins do not have enough wall and the uh, white pumpkins are too hard so that's not going to work for you either and they don't have that big of a, uh, a wall either the next step after you peel all your pieces of pumpkin is to get the stuff off your finger and then cut it in chunks. These chunks are going to go into a big pot. I have a big pot over here, but I'm not going to fill that pot today. You know what a pot looks like. Once it's put into a big pot, you're going to add a bottle of pure maple syrup. This one is 12 and a half ounces. It's going to go into the pot with your chunks. Then you're going to fill this same bottle three times with water. Once it's th uh, filled three times with water, each time you're going to dump it into the pot with the pumpkin and the original syrup. Not only will that wash out the goodness from your jar, it'll add the water that necessary to cook your pumpkin. Once that's done, turn on your stove and let that come to a boil. And let it boil for five minutes only. Once you see steam, five minutes. When the steam comes, and your five minutes is up, turn off the stove and say, I'll see you tomorrow. Let it sit in that syrup and absorb as much as possible. The next day, you're going to pull your pumpkin pieces out of the syrup. Let's make believe that these are cooked, but these are actually cooked. So we'll use this. This is the one that has the very hard shell. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because I couldn't peel this ahead of time because of the shell being so hard, I'm going to cut it in strips. Come on. And then Take a knife and cut the meat off the pumpkin shell. This piece is good. I can just take this. This is the dehydrator tray. I can take this and put this directly on the dehydrator tray. Move this out the way. And as you can see, there's the difference between the raw and the cooked pumpkin. This one, I'm going to peel this way, being careful not to cut myself. Then make it into pieces, take the pieces and put them on the dehydrator tray. 
and we're going to do this until the dehydrator is full and we keep repeating that until the pumpkin is done all of it's done sometimes you might have to do with the cooking and the dehydrating two batches it all depends on the size of the pumpkin so here we go nobody said being native american is not labor intensive it is as you can see we've already went through a couple days worth of work so this is the last piece i'm going to do of this and this will go into a dehydrator um, on a good heat heat's not going to matter to this as long as you don't put it up so high you burn it and this is what we've got right here it's going to be filled put in the dehydrator and the next day it will dehydrate and you will have pumpkin candy these pieces are to be savored they'll last for years if it's nice and hard you want it nice and hard so it'll be flexible let it cool once it cools it'll start to harden a lot then you can take the pumpkin and put it in your mouth and savor the flavor for a while until it softens once it softens you'll take the pumpkin candy and chew it and then you have your treat long time ago sometimes the dried pumpkin was put in with fresh and syrup that was taken from the trees in the spring and boiled up and processed and then given to the once it's dehydrated given a couple pieces to the children as a treat because back then any sweet was a treat as it is today but they don't go chomp chomp swallow they savor the pieces the um fall version would add maple sugar but like i said i go to the grocery store and i get the maple syrup my favorite pumpkin to work with is a, it's like a bluish gray pumpkin it has a lot of meat and it's really really good the other ones would be heritage pumpkins this one that was hard to peel was a heritage pumpkin but the one i bought with it peeled beautifully like this and i had no problem with it when you're when you're searching out a pumpkin to work with for food pumpkin pie or pumpkin uh custard or whatever pick that pumpkin up if it's heavy for its size then you've got a good pumpkin that's got a lot of meat. If it's light, keep going, keep looking, because that pumpkin will not yield what you want it to yield. The pumpkins themselves, if you have to use a half at a time, then what I do is I go to the store like Walmart or whatever, and I get the disposable clear shower caps and I put one on the cut end put it face down on the cut end and it's in the refrigerator till the next day and that takes care of um, any drying out or anything so it keeps your pumpkin fresh I also use the same items the shower caps on plates and pots and things like that that I need covered so these this is Lenape pumpkin candy this is a treat for you and your family so um, that's about as easy as it can get so I don't want you coming to me and say you got any pumpkin candy make it yourself 
Well, Dawn, now I'm so excited. I can't wait to test the Lenape pumpkin candy. I know a lot of people have been asking, you know, is Dawn making the candy and how good it is. They're so excited about it. And uh, so I, I just really am so excited about being able to try this and trying to uh, make the candy. Um, I have a few questions for you again. Dawn, would you mind um, telling us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm a Nanafe, Native American. I am a longtime member of the Nanakoleni Lenape Indians of New Jersey. Um, I learned a lot about indigenous foods by research, asking, tasting, and doing different things that would get me more educated in how we got started with foods and what my people ate then and eat now. Uh, pumpkin is one of the, not necessarily looking like this, but one of the indigenous uh, foods that we used in a multitude of ways. This is just one way, and this is the dessert thing. You, a lot of times you'll see uh, things that are cooked up and whatever, and indigenous and whatever, but you don't see the dessert side of it. So I brought a little sweetness to you today. That sounds excellent. Now, is there any type of thing that um, you might be looking for that maybe you've tried it before and maybe something just didn't come out just right? Is there some type of uh, any mistakes or anything we could make that you might tell us about or does it pretty much come out? It's better to get the pumpkins a little bit after they hit the markets now. And they are expensive this year. Very. Once you see them in the markets, Get them when you can. They will keep for a while, but you don't want a pumpkin kept longer than a couple months because, like I said, the inside is pure fiber. And what it'll do, it keeps drying out and the fibers will separate and separate and separate until you've got, uh, once you cook it up, you're going to end up with nothing but stringy mush. If that happens, like say, if this piece here cooks up to be mushy, you take, because that's the water, that's the maple syrup, you take a pinch of that, shape it up, put it on your dehydrator tray. When it's dehydrated, you can't tell it from the other. So that's not something you want to waste. And how long does the pumpkin candy usually last? Probably a couple years because it's dehydrated. I was going to say probably it doesn't last long because everybody wants to eat it so quickly. I've got, but... a, I've got a friend that did the pumpkin candy with me last year. And she's still carrying a bag of that around with her now. And she doles it out very carefully because it's something that's prized. Exactly. And Dawn has, um, Dawn Many Feathers has been kind enough to share the recipe that we're going to include with pictures. So it's easy step directions. She's provided that for you and we will have that at the end of our video. Now Dawn, I want to um, also talk about, you know, you showed us about the pumpkin and making pumpkin candy. And I know that you, you're an expert on the um, native types of plants and how to use plants for medicine and for healing. But also, you're also an expert and ex do excellent work making uh, Native American uh, beadwork, jewelry, um, Native American regalia. And I just wanted to mention that Dawn is our artist of the month at our Turtle Trading Post. The Turtle Trading Post is the store for the Nanako Glenny Lenape Tribal Nation. It's located at 18 East Commerce Street in Bridgeton, New Jersey. And it features a uh, Native American artist from our, from our tribe with beadwork and, and um, jewelry and leather work. And Dawn is gonna be one of our featured artists and we're so pleased to have her uh, art with us in the Turtle Trading Post. So we wanna say Wanishi Dawn for all that you've done for us for providing us with this recipe for pumpkin candy and helping us to learn our Lenape and our traditional ways. I want to thank you and say Wanishi.
Anishi, and I want you all to make it. Don't ask me for it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Dawn. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Nanticoke Lenny Lenape Tribal Nations Native Power Hour, Making Lenape Pumpkin Candy. The Native Power Hour has been made possible by a grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities, Sustaining Humanities through the American Rescue Plan, in partnership with the Association of Tribal Archives, Libraries, and Museums. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and catch our next episode, Making Pine Needle Baskets. And again, my name is Linda Little Bright Star Jackson, and I will see you next time on the Native Power Hour. Wanishi.